Cup of the Day is the biggest tournament in Trackmania, bringing in several thousand players to compete each day. And the level of competition is always spectacular. Pro players tend to win a majority of the time, but whenever the cup track is something a bit unordinary, players like myself also have a chance at victory. On the 27th of May, one of the most unique Cup of the Days was played, as the map had to be driven entirely backwards, which sounds ridiculous as a concept. But funny enough, it's also something I have a bit of practice on. This was my chance to finally beat the pro players in one of my own strongest styles. Before we get into it, we are getting so close to 1 million subscribers, so if you enjoyed this video, then be sure to hit the button. I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments about this, so let's get one thing out the way first. No, you can't just turn around and drive forwards. It will lose you time. You see, driving backwards in Trackmania can be absurdly fast under the right circumstances, because you can speed slide everywhere. Anytime the car is sliding when driving backwards, it gains speed, and this can rapidly snowball throughout the track. The way Cup of the Day works is you're first given 15 minutes in the qualifier to learn the map and set the best time you can. Only the top 64 out of several thousand players make it to the highest division. So the battle for getting into Division 1 is always tough. The way the format now works is that everyone starts driving at the same time, in a race to reach the finish line. The slowest players get eliminated each round, and the last player standing is the winner of the cup. So a speed slide here, stop it, and then carry that speed through here, speed slide down, speed slide up. On backward shot, anytime you slide, you're faster. You want to slide anywhere you can. Every single slide matters so much. Wait, is that no steer or something? That looked weird. That looked very weird. And I was here. Well, like, we are six seconds behind Shorty's author time, so... There's a lot to learn. This is a lot of speed. And speed on backwards maps is just GG. If you can carry it. Hmm... Still a lot, chat. Oh god, that's so much speed. 26 feet ahead. If this ain't fast enough, then I know. Yes! Ah, first place! Whew! Nice run. Still quite away from the author time, but... Great map, Shorty. You see what I mean, chat? I think I got slow down. Somehow I lost 15 speed. No. Where did my speed go? Oh, that was an insane run. I was like 0.6 ahead. Is that actually going to win the qualifier? I could have done so much better. Is that going to win? Someone's going to snipe it. I guess I win qualifier today. Wow. Yeah, I won the qualifier. Insane. Somehow, I had won the qualifier, with a run far from my peak potential. The problem was that on my fastest runs, surviving the final corners was extremely difficult. Any loss of grip was a guaranteed crash, which is so, so punishing when driving backwards. On a forwards map, hitting a wall may cost you one second. On a backwards map, you'll never regain the lost speed, and a simple wall touch may cost you five seconds or more. This is a great start. Very happy with it. Oh, <laughs> okay. That was not ideal. I lost 14 speed and I'm not gonna win the round. Yeah, 44. Oh no. That's a bad spot to crash, I think. No, it looks like I will have enough. Yeah, that's fine. It's fine, chat. Crisis averted. We gotta stop hitting things. Oh no, oh, oh, oh. Scrappy, can you save it? No. Damn. Seven seconds, we should be fine. Yeah, 
Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh oh. I think that's like eight rounds in a row now where I've made crashes, small mistakes. Halfway through the cup, things were not going according to plan. I had crashed just about every round, and luckily others had made bigger mistakes. But slowly I was finding comfortable lines and pace that I thought could take me far. And some of the favorites were getting knocked out too. Make sure I don't crash. Oh, that's still third, wow. Ah, fourth. You better win. I'm trying. I'm really trying. I'm just scared because I'm slowly becoming one of the favorites and I don't like it. Suck! Good end speed. Really good end speed. Good speed. Although not perfect. Nice. I won the round. I didn't drive much faster than what I have been doing, but I won the round. Evan's on the brink, man. Two rounds in a row, he's still in. And that one's back in first. <laughs> okay. This man is just like, like a metronome, like first, last, first, last. Either he does an insane time or he crashes. It's five seconds. We have it. We have it. I tried to risk the downhill now to get comfortable with it, but we have it. Don't worry, chat. It's not five seconds what I failed. Whew, okay. Ooh, no. Evan and Villa out. Still, though, really impressive from Villa. Top six, chat. Top six. You J Cray with a mistake? That's top four if I had to save the end. Okay. We only need to win uh, to survive. Three more rounds, chat. And we have it. Did not get the downhill slide. I don't think everyone did. No one did. Wow. Yeah, no one got the downhill slide this round. Top three. I released. He made a mistake. We'll see what's faster. Well, Yonex made a mistake. It's me versus Imot. Here we go, chat. Okay. Guys. It's win number seven and it's finally on a backwards track. I did it. Let's go. GG's. Whew, I've, been, I've never been this stressed. Cause like, I felt like the favorite to win it. I can't just hide behind being an underdog. And just like that, I managed to win my seventh cup of the day. I was feeling really happy to have pulled a virtual, which is a common synonym for performing under pressure. <clears throat> Don't listen to Urban Dictionary. But the day was far from over. You see, last year Nadeo introduced Cup of the Day reruns, meaning that each day, instead of having just one cup, there are three, all played on the same map, just adapted for different time zones. These are commonly called Cup of the Night and Cup of the Morning by the community. Until now, there's only two players that have pulled off winning all three cups in one day. And on this specific map, I thought I might have a chance at it myself. So I stayed up until 3 a.m. to play it for the second time. In Cup of the Night, there are far less players, but those that do participate are often much faster than in Cup of the Day, as everyone's had time to grind the map for several hours. And this time, there was Dog and Shadowcrancer, who seemed like the main opponents. Dog is god backwards, and Dog is also a god at driving backwards. In almost every round, he was beating my personal best time, and it seemed like the only way I could possibly win was if he made a mistake. I just had to hope for a miracle. It's like, if I'm third now, I know the two players ahead of me. I don't need to look at splits to know who I'm behind. It's these two gentlemen, 42-2. <laughs> I think that's like top five world. Damn, I'm third, I wonder who's ahead. There's no way it would be Dog and Shadowcrancer. Actually beat both of them, okay. <laughs> Jeez, man. We'll see.
Maybe there's a dent in the armor somewhere. Oh! Okay, dog's out. Damn, rip dog. In round 14, my prayers were heard, as dog actually got eliminated. And a few rounds later, Shadow Crancer got knocked out too. My winning chances had increased drastically. I was the fastest player left in the field, and I only had to survive one run at a time. <laughs> okay, let's not get too confident here. We're fine, but... I felt like risking it because I knew we were ahead. There you go. There you go. I'm not going for the trick. I don't think everyone gets it. Oh, North even failed. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, I think that was fine. I think that was fine there. Top three. Okay. Wait, what the? Bro, what happened here, boys? Well, good luck. For the two time. See if I can get it. One versus one. Did I talk? Oh, I touched. Oh, you gotta be kidding. This is uh, about three seconds time loss over the course of the track. Wait! You gotta be kidding. Uh, are you serious? Wow. <laughs> Come on, man. You can't win Cup of the Night with 48. Ah, one though, two time winner, but that is crazy. The the variant for Shadow Crancer, for Dog to go out, and then for me to crash in the correct rounds for others crash too, it's crazy. Incredibly enough, I managed to win that final with a time 6 seconds slower than my personal best. As it turns out, the pressure got to us both. Me crashing in the first corner, and Simus one turn later. But since I crashed earlier, I was able to build up more speed, and get away with an extremely lucky victory. I now found myself with a chance at the hat trick, and I knew that I had to go for it. Cup of the morning was 7 hours away and both me and the people trying to deny me had to get some sleep. The next morning when I woke up and checked the leaderboards, Shadowcrancer had driven a 41.53, and Alcon had a 41.68, both over half a second faster than my personal best, and both of them were of course going to participate in Cup of the Morning. The competition for this last win was going to be the toughest opposition I'd faced yet. Shadowcrancer, Dog, and Alcon all showed up in the qualifier, and their times were again incredible. It's insane people are uh, here early. I slept four hours out, four or five hours. I made two cups of coffee and I'm ready to go. Hey, that's pretty decent. I think it's a 42. Yeah, nice. I was gonna say, I think this is just like we're all waiting for the first one of us to trip up. Alcon, Shadowcrancer, me and Dog. Have I slept a little bit? At first I couldn't sleep, and I was like, dude, this is bad. I went to bed, I could not fall asleep. I pulled out the oldest trick in the book. <gasps> whoa, 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 I should not be hyped that someone went out, but that gives me a chance. That's unfortunate for Alcon. He's so fast. I was gonna say, I pulled out the oldest trick in the book, which is to watch History of Rome podcast. And it's so, like, interestingly boring that I just drift off after, like, two voice lines. That was a good end. Stop. Honestly, just stop. These guys are so consistently fast every single time. We're just all waiting for the slow rounds to be uh, over. That could be bad, but I think someone must have had a worse end. Surely. Yeah. Not by a lot though. Whew. That was a tenth. By just a tenth of a second, I would made it to the top six. Everyone remaining had amazing personal bests and a great chance at winning. Nothing was going to be handed out for free. Shadowcrancer plus six. 
I see what usage at, plus seven. Camo, please hold on, dude. Camo TM. Please hold on. That is actually Shadow Crimes are out. One god has been eliminated. Intark is actually driving really fast. Like, you can win with a 43-4 in good round. Whatever happens now, I'm super happy, but I want to go the distance, man. <sighs> oh, happy speed here, chat. But there's been a mistake. It's over. They all failed, but I failed the worst. It's over time. Double respawn. Point three. Oh my god, I want to throw my headset. Oh, that sucks. The car just did not get the right line and then it bounced out. Well, GG. You know what, chat? We played insane today. We played actually insane. I won two couple of days and I got a third in the same day. Dog wins 43.5. Point three. Close, but not quite. Very good though. I'm proud. Despite the mistake in the top three round, I think few people would be unhappy with two first places and a third in couple of the days. And I wasn't going to hold myself to that standard either. I could have been the third player to achieve a cup of the day hat trick, but I also achieved something truly special on its own. For those 24 hours, I can at least say I was the world's best backwards driver. And we'll see if that still holds true the next time Nadeo picks such a crazy cup of the day track. If you want to watch me play cup of the days live, I stream them on my Twitch channel every time I play. But that's all for now guys, I really hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you guys soon, and until then, have a good one.